How to create a button to clear data from another workbook. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can clear data from a different workbook and to be specific from a different closed workbook from your master workbook. And we are going to create a button so that whenever you click that button, the certain data range of the different workbook will be deleted. Before starting, I want you to take a moment and please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. Okay, let's get started. In this folder, we have two workbook. The first one is master workbook and the second one is dog intelligence workbook. And in the master workbook, it's empty right now. This is where we are going to create a button and whenever we press that button, the data from this workbook will be deleted and I will be deleting from cell A1 to cell E5, okay? So whenever I press the button on the master workbook, the data from this workbook from cell A1 to E5 will be deleted. We're going to use a VBA and for that you need to click on the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab here, please check this video and you will learn how you can add developer tab to your Excel ribbon, okay? So after clicking the developer tab, click on Visual Basic click insert and then click module now i'm going to write a simple macro that will remove data from a different workbook first let's write the code this is the macro name clear cell and inside it i'm going to write a code to open that workbook i want to clear okay for that i need to write workbooks.open I will be needing the file path for that minimize it and this is the file I want to open so click here and this is the file path copy it and paste it here inside double quotation and then a backward slash then write the workbook name which is this one dog intelligence okay and remember to write the file extension okay I'm going to open this workbook dog intelligence dot xlsx from this file path okay and when it's done close the double quotation next I'm going to clear those certain cell okay now write the range you want to clear now i want to clear cell from a1 to e5 so this is the range now write dot clear this will clear everything so i'm going to write clear now remember to add double quotation in your cell range and now press enter in the third line first line we open the workbook in the second line we clear the cell and now we need to close that workbook and save it okay so for that we are going to write workbooks and then the name of that workbook and then close and we are going to save the changes done this is the code you need now if i close this and close this workbook also let's test it macro and clear cell and you can see if i minimize the master workbook and open this workbook you can see the first five row has been cleared i have cleared from cell a1 to cell e5 just as i wanted so the code is working now we are going to create a button here there are three different ways you can create a button to run macros and i have already showed how you can do that you can check those videos here and here i'm going to create from insert and click on shapes and here is a button let's say this is the button name so so this is the clear cell button and if I right click here and select assign macro and select clear cell the macro I just created if I click anywhere else the code has been connected to this button if I click here you can see this workbook will open and remove data let's delete this so here we have data from cell a1 to e5 close this workbook and if I click here and minimize it if I open this workbook again this data has been removed now the last thing you will need to do is save this workbook workbook as excel macro enabled workbook okay so click on file click save as and i'm going to save this workbook as excel macro enabled workbook which is dot xlsm format if i save it and now the macro i have written here will be inside this workbook whenever i open it i can click on this button and remove the data from different workbook okay this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon if you need this code please sign up using the link in the description thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial